Hello folks and welcome back to our Let's Play for Final Fantasy 7. Uh, I apologise that the videos are not exactly coming thick and fast, but I am definitely determined to play this game all the way through, so just bear with me and hopefully we will soon get onto a regular schedule for this. If you remember where we left off in the previous episode, we were collecting uh, items for Cloud to dress up as a girl so that he can gain access to the mansion and rescue Tifa, at least that's the plan. We have almost everything we need, but we need to visit here, which is the uh, Honeybee Manor, for our last couple of items. Or the Honeybee Inn, sorry, not the honey Honeybee Manor. Now, one of these people here has a card, a membership card. Uh, which we need in order to gain access to the place. And we just have to find the right person in order to collect it. Maybe it's this Shinra guy here. Nope. Hmm, one of these definitely uh, has a card for us, I'm sure of it. It came before we spoke to this guy earlier. Okay. I think it is this guy. Uh, actually, perhaps it's someone out here. Yes, there it is. I knew we spoke to somebody to collect it. I just couldn't remember who it was. But we've got it now, which means we can gain access to the uh, to the Honeybee Inn. Yes, good excuse, Cloud. Right then, so this is one of those places which I'm not sure how they would do uh, if they remade Final Fantasy VII in HD without giving the game an adult rating. So it, it's funny and it works as the game is at the moment, but uh, that's just one of those things which uh, could potentially become uh, perhaps even a little bit offensive to some people when it's all in full HD. So we can choose the group room. Uh, basically we're here to collect some undergarments. So some knickers in other words. The queen's room. Now we can't go into this room but we can take a peek if we're so well inclined. And yeah this sounds like some uh, pretty scary music going on. So there's some people and a queen. So yeah, a bit of role play going on here. What it's about, I have no idea. Wow, this is weird. This is typical Final Fantasy VII weirdness. So, that was probably, by the looks of it, the president of Shinra dressed up as a queen or something, or a king. Don't ask me. But yeah, that was messed up. So we can take a peek in the lovers room. And you can pretty much just control uh, what you can see through the keyhole. Okay, she called him Grandpa. Ah, that's okay, that's okay. Now 
Yeah, I know, it's not nice to peek on other people. Uh, but I don't want to go in there just yet. So we can choose the whatever room that is. Or the group room. And I think we'll take this room. Uh, yeah, we'll take whatever this is. It really doesn't matter which room you take out of the group room or this room. You do get a different undergarment, but it doesn't make a difference if you're trying to get Cloud to be the girl that he's chosen later on. Incidentally, I have no idea uh, what's going to go on in this room. I cannot remember. Come on, Cloud, wake up. Don't forget the mission that you're on, please. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, wow, this guy healed us. That was nice of him. Bubby. even choose, I mean. Well, how many innuendos can you get in one uh, small uh, two-minute speech? Yeah, because I'm sure that's what, uh, not what Cloud was expecting in the Honeybee Inn. Now, we do just want to visit the dressing room, which is here. And the reason being, if you speak to the right person, you can have makeup plastered on you, which you need. So yeah, is this girl at the end? By the way, despite all this effort we're going to, Cloud doesn't actually look that much different when he puts his disguise on. Just a forewarning in case you're expecting something exciting, it's really not. Okay, so we have our lovely makeup uh, put on our face. And I'll just check that we did get the... Yeah, but we don't seem to have the uh, bikini briefs or the lingerie. That's quite peculiar, actually. Let's just double check why we didn't get anything. No, we don't need to take a peek. Yeah, Eri seemed to uh, be getting some attention then. But I'm a bit concerned as to why we didn't actually get the uh, lingerie stuff. But uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I just reloaded the game and did the group room and I did in fact achieve, in fact I was going to save it again, I did achieve some bikini briefs, 
So I'm not sure why I didn't get the lounge rapes I should have got for doing the weird room. But, uh, by the way, I do recommend you have a go at the group room if you haven't seen it. It was pretty twisted, but also pretty funny at the same time. Anyway, we should, in theory, have everything we need. So, you should have the silk dress if you've done exactly what I've done in order for Cloud to be chosen, which will make sense later. Uh, I have the silk dress, the blonde wig, the sexy cologne, the diamond tiara, the bikini briefs, and something which isn't on here is the makeup, which we went and collected. With all those things in your possession, uh, we need to go back to the dress shop in order to don our disguise. And that isn't the dress shop, that is the bar. So, uh, the dress shop must be down south. Here we go. And if you just run to the dressing room, you can choose to get changed. Make sure that you've got everything you want to get, since once you're changed, you can't collect things you might have missed. So now Cloud has become Miss Cloud. Don't worry, it is only temporarily. So now we we'll just wait for Ares to sort herself out and we will be ready to go. Okay, we've got Ares back. So we should, in theory, have everything we need to progress the story. And to do that we need to head north, back up to the mansion. The mansion of Don Corneo and speak to this dude right here. Now Don Corneo is of course a little bit of a ladies man so I suspect he's not going to be too thrilled when he finds out that we have deceived him. Okay, so now we can go and find Tifa. And in order to do that, we need to go through one of these doors on this level. It's not that one. It's certainly not that one. Here we go. There's Tifa. And I was just going to grab that potiony thing, but we can't just yet. Tifa, of course, who hasn't recognised Cloud at this point and doesn't know who Ares is. Okay, so the tension's already started. Now, can we get around Ares to grab that potion? Nope. But we can go around this side. Kind of kill the pace of the uh, story, but hey, we get an ether for it. Remember that we did leave Tifa after we killed the Airbuster boss, we fell down into the church. So, that's pretty much the last we saw of Tifa and Barrett. <laughs> and somehow Don Corneo uh, is involved with Shinra. We don't know how, we don't know why, but Tifa has infiltrated his mansion in order to find out. 
Being a good looking girl kind of helps with that. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we've done everything correctly. Don Corneo chooses the girl for the evening and he can actually choose uh, any of these three out of Cloud Sleeper and Ares. And the one he chooses depends on how much of the stuff I told you to collect, you did in fact collect. If you got everything that I got and hopefully I've done it right, then Cloud is the one who is going to be chosen by Don, which is all the more humorous. If you didn't, or if you decided to get some alternative clothes, then he will pick Tifa and Ares. And in either of those cases, you won't actually see what happens, since you stay as the player with Cloud. Okay, now he has a good look. Hopefully we've done everything correctly. I pretty much was going from memory, so... Okay, this is where we find out. Yeah, we've done it. And if you don't get chosen as Cloud, then you basically go to meet Don Corneo's henchmen and they try and chase you around until you reveal that you are in fact a man, which they're not too happy with. And then you go up to find either Ares or Tifa, whoever did get chosen. But in this case, that is us. So all we have to do now is have our little funny chat with Don Corneo, who is totally infatuated with us, believing we are a very pretty girl. I just want to make sure there's nothing to loot around here, actually. I don't think there is. Oh no, there is a hyper. And I do not want to know what he plans on doing with that cigar. And you can play along with the dialogue. Although it doesn't make any difference to the progression of the game uh, as to what dialogue you choose. Whatever you want, Daddy. Oh. Oh. Ah, yes, thank goodness for Tifa and Ares. That could have got nasty. Cloud, were you really? Don't be stupid. Ah. Yeah, threatening a man with castration is usually a good way to get him to talk. Oh, there it is. That is just not very nice at all. Okay, so Heidegger of Shinra, uh, the head of peace preservation, although that's pretty much a... Uh, a cover for the fact that he likes to do a bit of dirty work. He hired Don Corneo to find Barrett. So they want to infiltrate our little rebel group. 
Not that I blame them really, I mean Avalanche is a terrorist organisation that has probably killed lots of people by destroying uh, the Mako reactor. Although the way they want to capture them isn't perhaps the best. They're going to wipe out the Sector 7 slums, which is where Tifa's bar is, amongst other things. And why do we think he did it? Again, you can choose anything, any reason you th think that uh, Don would say. Whatever you choose, it's through the trapdoor. And we get a little scene at Shinra headquarters. And this fatso here is Heidegger. And that of course is President Shinra in the chair. Reeve here, who does have a part to play in the story later on, so it's a good idea to just remember that he exists, mainly. Heidegger's a bit of a knob. So yeah, quite a corrupt government one might say. And we have been dropped down into the sewers. But by speaking to Tifa and Ares individually, you bring them back into play. And surprisingly, nope, the worst is not yet over. We have a boss fight. And this boss is known as Apps. And it's pretty mean, basically. It's a water-based boss, as you might expect, seeing as how he lives in the sewers. Uh, it's not weak or strong to any of your attacks, so it doesn't really matter what you use. I'm just going to use Ares to cast Ice. We'll use Fireball Bolt with Cloud, and Tifa can use a normal attack. Hopefully he'll build up some limit breaks. Sura Tsunami is one of his strongest attacks. It does damage to all three party members. So you do just have to uh, kind of keep an eye open on that. Ah, uh, we missed three years, not to worry. He can actually do it from behind, as you've just seen, and that makes it all the more dangerous. Yeah, Tifa's limits suck then because we misplaced the slots. And it looks like we are going to start needing to uh, throw a few heals, I think. Uh, Ares is taking the least damage because she's in the back rank. So a couple of potions do not hurt. And I'll probably use Ares for curing mainly now for the rest of this fight. Which hopefully won't actually last for much longer. You do kind of forget after you played later Final Fantasy games that the bosses can still attack while you are choosing what you want to do. It's not like turn based. And we can cast Healing Wind which heals everybody. And we get a, an achievement for that. Very nice. That's yeah, quite a nice heal as well. So if you build Ares Limit Break uh, up a fair bit, you might not even need to uh, use potions. 
I mean, I just need to be on the safe side, really. And that's the end of Axe. And we haven't particularly leveled up our characters at all, so... If you have spent time grinding and building up experience, that would pretty much be a cakewalk. So we're going to grab this item right over here. And it's just a potion, at least it replaces one of the two we've just used. And we are back to having random encounters. And we get a back attack. Ah, uh, that's annoying. So as I was mentioning, you do want to use their limit breaks as soon as they're up really. Since the more you use them, the quicker you'll learn their uh, later incarnations, so to speak. Ah. Physical attacks seem pretty pointless. At least Cloud Sword attack did. But there's nothing that Ares can't take uh, control of. And Cloud is level 12. So for now it's just a case of following the fairly linear progression to the exit of the sewers and there's a materia here, the steel materia. Who should we give that to do you think? I don't think it really makes any difference to be honest. We'll give it to Tifa since she's got Nauta really. And in fact, I am going to give Cloud the cover materia. For the simple reason that his limit break will build up faster. And not only does it do damage, we'll also learn the next one fairly quickly. So again, just continue following the path and battling through the random encounters. We'll test her steel materia, although it's going to be pretty crap, I should imagine. It does have quite a low uh, percentage chance of working. And I'm not really going to do it unless we find something that's worth stealing. Which there isn't any off here. Although in the next area there will be. Now their health is running a little bit low. But as I've mentioned in the past, and Tifa's just levelled, you can use your cure materia to save potions outside of battle. Just go to the magic option. And we are at the train graveyard. With a, with a nice handy save point. So it's a little bit of a maze area, it's not too hard to manoeuvre around though. And there is a monster here which drops a powerful weapon for Ares. One which you can purchase, but not until much later in the game, so it's a nice upgrade now. And you can even buy a few of them to sell them, so we'll talk about all that next time. I'll save the game for now. And this is one of my favourite pieces of music actually from Final Fantasy VII. I think it's called Anxious Hearts. I just think it's so, just so soothing and relaxing, it really is just a wonderful piece, I think, game music wise anyway. Anyway, we'll leave it there for today for this episode, we'll pick up uh, next time where we'll continue with manoeuvring around these train cars and hopefully we will save Sector 7 from the evil corporation of Shinra. Until then, I've been Fuzzfinger, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.